Now there's some pink depression glass. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everything's $9.99 today. I guess that's the price of the day. Well, we are here at the local Goodwill today. I just had lunch with Kate before she heads off on her cross-country adventure. It's a little bit sad. She's gonna be gone for a month, but um, I can't wait for her to come back. We can go shopping again together, but um, we're gonna head into the Goodwill and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Yeah. All right, well, I was heading towards the vase section and then I noticed that there's actually vases over here now. So that's kind of wild. That one has an interesting marking on the bottom. $9.99, yikes. I like it though, so I'm gonna grab it. This one is contemporary. $9.99 on that as well. Mm, I like the colors in it. Let's stick it in here. We'll see if it makes the final cut. Wow, the shelves are really stocked today. This is exciting. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to expect. But looks like <laughs> great things. This little guy is adorable. Little piggy. Oh my gosh, and she's so darling. Oh my goodness. She's so tiny. All right. Picking up critters, I guess. Critters and angels. Gotta be careful with her. Well, all right. Let's see if we can find any more of those little angels. She is interesting. There are a ton of these blue sky tea light houses. I passed two other ones over here. I've looked them up before. I can't remember which ones are the most valuable. Um, but I, I have done that search before. I'm wondering if I should maybe do that search again. What is this? Angel. Must be someone donated their angel collection. There's another blue sky house. Oh, they're not blue sky, they're elements. I guess they're made to look like blue sky. That is pretty outstanding. Got a bit of a crack there. Let's see what the bottom says. All right, I stuck it in there. I just kind of love it. <laughs> I love it despite the crack for $6.99. Okay, here we are in the vases. We're gonna give this section a peek. Vases and figurines are my two favorites. <laughs> I usually bounce between the two while I'm here. Now there's some pink depression glass. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everything's $9.99 today. I guess that's the price of the day. $9.99, $9.99, $2.99. Two to keep an eye on the prices, I guess. All right, nothing is really jumping out at me here in the vase section, though. So we're gonna keep looking. There is a pretty candy dish. Only $4.99 on this. There's some nice gold on there. It looks like there should have been gold on the top. That gold is worn, which concerns me that when I go to take the tape off, it might pull the gold off, so I have to make a decision. Um, whether I want to attempt to remove it with hot water, that's what we'll try. Um, this is high -Z. There's an H mark on the bottom for high -Z. That's pretty, isn't it? There's a crack on the bottom. Kind of looks like an Amari piece. We found some stuff. Did you guys see that? $9.99. Oh my goodness. Now that is flash colored. You can see some of the flash just wearing off. 
Oh man, I don't know, for $9.99. I noticed it from the other side of the shelf, just like the last time we were here and I spotted those Franciscan cups that were right in front of my face here, but I saw them from the other side. Here are some Franciscan Desert Rose dinner plates. They have a modern uh, pattern or a marking on the back though and looks like there's some chipping on them. So those are not for us. That's adorable. Color Flora. March. I wonder, uh, $3.99, I don't know. I'm used to seeing the little left in girls, and I usually pick those up. 25 cents. Tell for a gift. All right, now it's a thing. Side. There's vintage salt and pepper shakers. I've actually bought and sold this set before. It worth more than $2.99, so I'll stick that in there with a little angel. You know what I just realized? She's kissing. So we should be on the hunt for her friend. Not that we aren't already on the hunt for her friend. Oh my. Look, this is Gans. This is uh, Bella Casa. Caroline Coffee. This is actually not chipped or cracked, which is surprising because they're almost always chipped or cracked. It's very thin ceramic. I find these all the time. And they're almost always chipped or cracked. So that's surprising. I wonder if we should look up Caroline Coffee and see how much she sells for. Here you can see that um, her and her friends sold for about 16 bucks, and uh, down here, I'd say about eight to 12 is probably an average. So I think I'm gonna put her back. And that was probably the right decision because when I was putting her back on the shelf, I realized she's not priced, so it wouldn't have made any sense to drag her up to the checkout and find out that way, huh? Boy. <laughs> What's under here? Norman Rockwell. There is a vintage courting couple for $4.99. Very darling. Hmm, there's some Ray Dunn. I think this is actually one of the older patterns. With the flowers on it. So I'm stick gonna stick these in here and uh, look it up real quick. I only know because I found a canister with this pattern on it the other day. So I'll look it up. This is for like her things. Okay, so I looked it up. It looks like a similar canister here sold for about nine dollars best offer accepted um but here was a soap dispenser and a things that sold for 34. we have brushes and a things so i don't know i think that's probably worth picking up it'd be really cool if we could actually find the soap what is this small looking glass thing I'm not really sure. I looked through it and it's really blurry. <laughs> that glaze is interesting. Definitely landed it in the metals section. There's some brightening tins.
There's a rig spare, but $17.99 on that. <laughs> sitting right on top. He's gonna stay sitting right on top. I kinda like the looks of this basket, but mm, now that I've got it out, I know there's some damage on there. I really like those really big, colorful baskets. They're always advertising on Instagram, but I've clicked on the link before because I couldn't help myself and they're extremely expensive. I would love to find one of those at the Goodwill, but I'll just, I'll wait, I'll wait it out. All right, I've circled back around to this $10 duck. <laughs> Today's a $10 day. I don't know, I like the glaze on it. I just can't. I feel like it, it looks old because Maybe it sat outside, but it also reminds me of Frank Coma. I think the glaze, I'm like, is that a Frank Coma glaze? Sure looks like it, but it doesn't feel like Frank Coma. If it was Frank Coma, it'd be marked, right? Gosh, I hope I don't regret that. I'm also debating these $10 everythings I have in my cart. I'm thinking of putting this one back. We were just at the glass show last week and bought some really amazing glass. And even though I like this, I'm like, you know what? You don't, don't need it. Don't need it. So this is going back up. It's a nice piece of glass, but I've got lots of glass to get rid of right now. It's an empty box. All right, you can see I'm circling back over the shelves. Oh, that's pretty. What is that? Snatch. <laughs> what is that? It's kind of different. I don't know what its purpose is. Hmm. I don't know, that kind of looks like it matches a piece that I got here the last time. I was looking for a matchy match. Hmm. $3.99. Trying to picture it in my head. It's a different shape, but the glaze is similar. I don't know. We'll leave it. This looks like it has some age. Made in Thailand. Some texture on that face. Assuming that one is probably Mikasa. Hmm. What's it chipping on the edge of that one? Is that computer? So I noticed these uh, bookends here with quails on them. The quails are like super lifelike. They're made of resin and there's actually a made in China sticker on the bottom. I might try looking these up, you know, even though they are made in China. Uh, there, there just seems to be a quality about them. It's kind of surprising, obviously they're very dusty. I can ride in the dust, but um, they are $6.99 each. So they're $14 for the pair. I'm gonna stick those in my cart and do a look up on those. Um, and then, isn't this adorable? $2.99, little key hook. I'll just snatch that. Oh my gosh, there's another one down here. So these arts and crafts, $2.99. I mean, those aren't worth a ton, but I'll grab those. Is it just the two? Do we see any others? These are neat as well, but. Oh my gosh, just somebody's whole art collection. Here's their bird. There's their cardinal. I think I'll just take the hooks because they serve a purpose. I mean, those are nice, their artwork, but you can hang your keys on the hook ones. Here's somebody's um, artistic rendition of a glitter fish. Well, I'm going to look at this up, and then the book ends, and then I actually have to um, think about getting out of here because I have a meeting with my accountant. Very fun accountant meeting. That 
one looks like a little German teacup. Forget me not, it says. Alright. I think he just added this to the shelf. Let's pull it through. What does it say? Oh, it has pretty flowers on it. How much? $3.99. Okay, I'll take that for $3.99. Stick that in there. Cover hole with tape. <laughs> oh, there are hot dog salt and pepper shakers. $2.99. I like those. They're kitschy. We'll take them. Alright, do we see anything else that might be new? I don't really see anything else. Those were definitely not here before. This is interesting. Alright, is that a mermaid tail? I think it is. I think that's the lid to something. But to what? No. What is it the lid to? Is it this? No. Alright, so I wanted to check out Christmas before we leave just because I've got that FOMO. You know, the fear of missing out. Winter Wind Folk Arts. It's designed by them, but it's made in the Philippines. They outsourced. Oh, this is a cute cookie jar. <laughs> He's adorable. Aww. You're so cute. Gibson housewares. I like you. You're too cute. I'm not going to take you with me, but I think you're adorable. And then we've got these two down here. Ooh, wow. Looks like uh, Mrs. Santa got some lip fillers for Christmas. <laughs> All right, well, I think we're gonna move on from here. They're not stuck in the shelves, so I don't think there's any reason to hang out any longer. I think we're gonna, we're gonna move on. But um, the only thing I'm really debating is the little angel just because she's missing her smooching partner. And then I started to look up the resin quails and I got distracted, so I'm gonna do that. And then we'll head up towards the checkout. All right. Well, I feel like that was a fun trip to the Goodwill. Our total spend was $54. Now, when I was in the checkout, when I took that apple out of my cart, I noticed that in addition to the crack, um, the, the, app, the top of the apple had been glued back together. And it was a really sloppy glue job. So I wasn't willing to uh, make an exception for that. I could make the exception for the crack, but not that. So I ended up putting it back. But um, other than that, I feel like we got some nice pieces today. Nothing exceptional, nothing to write home about. But uh, we're going to make money, and that's the name of the game. So I'm going to get out of here now. i got to get to the accountant, but I will see all of you tomorrow. So long. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.